guys, what's going on and welcome to day 6 of 22 days of lipstick and today I'm going to be doing a lip swatch and a review of the Rene Fab 5 lipstick. Now I have both the version which is the original one as well as the nude version of it and if you're looking for any particular one I have mentioned the lip swatch timestamp on the description box below so you can check it out hopefully that's helpful for you and uh, also for foundation shade reference I'm NC40 in MAC. Now before we can get into the lip swatches, the formula and my thoughts about these lipsticks do not forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so they're notified whenever I upload and now let's jump right in the video. So let's talk about the description of these lipsticks first. Now it says that it's a soft creamy texture which glides easily and ensures a comfortable wear. Highly pigmented formula packs lips with rich color payoff. Multi-purpose product travel friendly. Please do not travel at the moment. Please be safe. Stay at home. And uh, great for day to night looks. This product is cruelty free and vegan as well which sounds amazing. Now each of these lipsticks have 5 shades and they are priced at 750 rupees each for 7.5 grams of product each. So let's talk about the packaging of these lipsticks. Now at the back you have is the brand name and over here you have all the colors of the lipsticks. So this is how the lipstick looks like once you take off the cap and to change the lip shade all you have to do is very lightly push the particular shade out and from the back insert it correctly over here, push it and the next shade pops out packaging which is super nostalgic because I remember during my school days I used to buy these pencils which had a similar concept and I love that they have incorporated the same kind of a concept for a lipstick. Now I used to go to a fancy store and just pick all the colors or just each one of them. I never knew what they're called. They're apparently called push pops and they also have erasers which I used to own them as well during my school days. So this packaging I really really like the concept. This is stuck, like this is not coming up. I do not know why this is happening to me uh, this time, but do you see this cape kind of a thing on the nude shade like this right here? So this particular lip shade is not coming out because of this and this thing is not popping off. So as you guys can see for this one, there is no that cape kind of a thing so so yeah this is not popping out I can still do a swatch because I can remove these out and then I can do the swatch so I took these out individually um, 
but this one is just not coming see it's not either going down nor is it going up oh my god i'm literally puncturing my nails i mean my fingers for this because i'm just gonna swatch it as it is so this is the first shade i can't even see it so for my thoughts on these lipsticks let's talk about the positives first now these are super creamy and pigmented and the formula once on the lips it is more like a creamy matte finish so the longevity of these lipsticks are like any other bullet lipsticks and uh, for me it lasted like about four to five hours after having like chai pani and uh, very very light snacks uh, and these are not transfer proof at all however right now i have blotted my lips with some dry tissue paper i had to do that like four to five times after which this is how it looks like so the color payoff is still there and for example clean hands there is very little transfer that is only because of blotting my lips but that is the case with any bullet lipsticks in my opinion so just fii and this is how it looks like once you have a very heavy meal now like i mentioned before i do love this type of a product because it is one nostalgic number two you get five lipsticks for 750 rupees where you can actually mix and match and you can also create your own shade or you can just stick to the same shades and now coming to the cons the first and foremost point is to do with the defective product that i received in the nude version see it's not either going down nor is it going up oh my god i'm literally puncturing my nails i mean my fingers for this now it is such a bummer because i was not expecting that at all one kind of a good thing is that it's a shade that i do not prefer or like because it doesn't suit that well for my skin tone but still nevertheless it is kind of disappointing that i received such a product now i know this is not going to be the case for everyone but still it was such a disappointment so i'm going to put that as a con and the second con is to do with these shades now for the original version it is completely fine it will suit for fair medium and darker skin tone however coming to the nude version of it i highly doubt it will suit for a darker skin tone like majority of the shades will not suit for the darker skin tones if you're fair it will be completely fine for my medium skin tone itself like i have the most basic medium skin tone which is nc40 for that itself i think two of the shades kind of washed me out but if you are a darker complexion i feel majority of them it will wash you out however if you're a darker skin tone and if you still want to buy the nude version of it then i would highly suggest do more research watch more youtube videos of other youtubers who have a similar complexion like yours and then make the right decision if you want to buy it or not to buy it so that's that with the cons and then i have just two other points like an fii uh, the first one is that i really kind of wish that they had numbered or named 
find the shades like for example when i told you this is the shade that i like i could not give you a number or a name to it i had to show you like oh this is the shade but if they had number or named i could have told you oh it's the number three or it is nuri paruri you know something of that sort so i hope that makes sense but that's just like a personal preference so that's why i'm not putting this as a con but yeah and the last and final FII that I have is that you need to be careful when you're changing these uh, lipsticks so that you do not stub it at the wrong place because then your lipstick will get effed up. So ensure that you actually properly insert it and not like stub it or put it somewhere else and that will just spoil the lipstick. So yeah, you just need to be careful with it. That's all. So yeah guys, these were my opinion about the Rene Fab 5-in-1 lipstick and this concludes today's video. I hope this was helpful and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so you're notified whenever I upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests, I will try and reserve for you as well as follow me on my socials which is It's Shanayar on Instagram and It's Shanayar on Twitter as well. So until next time, take care. Bye.